Friday Night Flies. Scotty Boulder. Live? Woo! Well, we got a question and answer live. Question and answer. So the million people watching today, take your turn. Don't keep me too crazy busy on the question and answer tonight. Let's, let's hear the tippity tap of the keyboard. And let's, and let's keep it to fishing. Okay? Keep it to fishing. All right. So it's Friday Night Flies. I'm Boulder. Welcome back again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back again. We're here in uh, Spud Valley Sporting Goods, <laughs> right in uh, Pemberton, BC. Today. Brought to you by these guys right here. Masks. They talk trout. Uh, book your tour. <laughs> it's ice fishing season. We're getting ramped up. Um, but I'm going back to summer fishing with my fly. So this is a uh, red tag turkey biot nymph that I've been working on this week. I'm really excited to get it in the Birkenhead River this year. Damn well, straight. Well, if you're next excited, year, next year, I'm really excited. So, yeah, I can't wait. But uh, yeah, let's take her down and we'll show you how to do this thing. Yeah. Um, okay. There so is. if you're if you're new to the uh, Friday Night Fly scene, um, you'll see that there's um, our material list now listed. And if you're an old comer. Take a look and check out the material list so that you can see exactly what we're using to make these flies. So you can duplicate them. You recreate. It's a recreation. So you can try to duplicate. And you'll never recreate. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my fly here. I got uh, a lot of different dynamics going on. Uh, the turkey by it is what's in here. That makes that nice little ribby action. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm going to go right down into it. Nice hot spot. Apparently it doesn't show up on that other side because the dubbing's a little big, but it's there. See? <laughs> it's there. It's there. Doop. So we'll show you how we do this. And we have a size 10 caddis. Probably my most popular nymph size size that I use on the river with a uh, 1 8 gold bead on there. What river are you using this on? On the Bergenhead River up past Pemberton where I do my guiding for Pemberton Fish Finder. Good plug, good plug. All right, so we got my red thread on here. I happen to be using Ultra Thread, but uh, you can use any red thread you want. And what I'm going to be doing is bringing this down. Now, this nymph that I've done has no tail, but it does. I have a little red tag on the end of it, hence the name red tag turkey by it. Nymph. And what I'm going to do before I get going too far is I'm going to build up that little red butt. So I need to tilt it sideways to myself so I can see what I'm doing here. Get her in there. Okay, so I got myself... You can probably see that on camera there. Sorry, sorry about the earthquakes. Um, so I built up my little tag. Next, I'm going to go to my tricky biots here. And I'm going to pull one off. And we are going to tie this in. So I want the outside curve to be on the top of my fly when I wind this up, which means I'm going to tie it in face down so the curvature is up. And I'm going to just get that tip of that biot because these turkey biots aren't very long. Um, if you want a longer one, there are artificial ones as well as the goose biots are longer as well. So I got that in and I got it tied right into where my butt section ended. And I'm going to wrap this thread up and out of the way. And then next we are going to wrap this turkey by it around. I didn't bring my hackle pliers with me. So excuse my fingers. And now we're going to just you're not going to be overlapping. You're putting these wraps right next to each other. And the nice thing about the turkey by it is with that upside cam up close camera you can see that it gives a little bit of a fur on that on that edge. A little bit of movement. You have big hands with that picture, Scotty. <laughs> oh, thank you. You should see. You guys <laughs> have monster hands. <laughs> so we got that in there. And, uh, yeah, this little bit of fringe edge, you don't get that with the fake ones. 
That's why I continue to be using these real ones. <laughs> Loyal to the real. So I'm going to uh, secure that, get this little tag in, and then the next thing that I'm going to be doing is building up a red thorax with my thread. I just need to see what I'm doing. i got to get that little... Make sure I get this all covered up here. Very carefully. All right, so I got that all done. Now what we're going to be doing is building up a thorax with this red thread. Take it right down to the bead. Yeah, for the viewers watching live, we've got question and answer open. If you want to ask us some questions, fly right ahead. All right, so that's my, my thorax. So I've filled it up a little bit thicker than the turkey. So I'm just going to angle this now that I've done with the back, so that I'm working up top. See what I'm doing? All right, so right behind this bead, we're going to tie in our mallard. So let me do in two little batches of it here. So one that's going to be right in the middle, and that's what I'm using the dark olive for. Awesome. So when I'm going to go peel it, first I get it so that the feathers line all up, pinch it tight, peel it off. And I want these feathers to be short. I might get some shorter ones. I don't like that batch. I'm going to go up closer to the, uh, there we go, that's what I'm liking. Closer to the tip of the feather. There's not enough, not as much uh, barb on these feathers. So I'm going to be making sort of like a shell back, but a free floating one. So I'm going to keep the curvature going, and I want these to be just a tad longer than that thorax. So I get my length, pinch it on there. One yeah, caught on a hangnail. There we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Cut it off. So that's what I got with my thumb. I'm just going to spread that out a little. Boom. Let's see how it's spread nicely. Next, we're going to yellow. So we're going to do two sides of this. And again, I want to get up. Towards this, these feathers up here. So I'm going to tie on a little bunch on each side of that green. So that's and the mallard flank you're using. This is yellow mallard flank, and these are going to be longer. So this is going to be kind of like the legs. So I'm making it twice as long as that green batch. I'm just going to tilt it so I can see what's happening. Pinch it on. There we go. And then we do a little bit on the other side. Same deal. Oh. All right. <laughs> Thank you. And some of my green, that green fiber was a little sparse. So I'm going to bump it up. So if you ever do make mistakes, whatever, you can fix that. I'm going to bump it up with a little bit more green in there. So if you look over top, it's kind of disappeared on me. Exactly. It wasn't as thick as I originally wanted, but I'm going to fix that right now. Really? Bingo, that's what I'm looking for. 
That's exactly what That's I'm looking what I'm for. Looking for. A little contour. A little, a little contrast in there. Okay, we got that. Next is our brown dubbing. I'm going to do a nice little pinch here on my thread. That's what you should be after. I'm just going to put a nice tight collar on here. Right behind that bead. And I'm going to tie off this thread now. Okay, so that's in there. And then next we just grab our bright orange and create this hot spot. So we're going to go and get right in there behind this thread, or right behind the bead, sorry. I'm going to wrap this around once. That helps to lock that tag in. So we got it on there. Grab your whip finisher. Don't just keep wrapping with the thread freehand um, until you get the size you want, because then once you do your whip finish, then it's going to be too big. So I just want to create a really nice, neat hot spot right behind that bead and right in front of that dubbing. Man, that ties it together nice. I know what it is, is you're hitting the board. The cord is what's making shake. Oh! Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. That's the earthquakes. There we go. I'm like, I'm not touching the table. <laughs> and that's it. Man, that is one sexy fly. Woo. Yeah, good job, Scotty. Man, you're so dealing, that's, that one with me. that's a finesse fly right there for you guys. But uh, definitely think it's going to be catching some trout this summer. <laughs> definitely going to catch some trout this summer. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. You want to go up top? Sure. Let's go up top. There we are. So I'm Boulder. Thanks for watching. It's Friday Night Flies. Um, we got another one for tonight? I think I can do another one. I think I'm going to do another one. Um, so, yeah. Stay tuned. Come back, and uh, we'll do up one more fly for the evening, and then uh, then we'll let you go home for supper. It's Friday unless, Night Flies. Thanks a lot. You unless you already had your supper, you Get lucky you lucky son of a. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm going to eat some nymphs. So, love the tug. Love the tug. That's Boulder. That's what I say. Love the tug. <laughs>